Hey guys, Frankie here, and let's have some more fun today. As much as I like to talk about the path to financial independence and hope to help others retire on time or ideally early so that we can earn more time and freedom back, it does often beg the question of what would I, or rather you, what would you do with all the newly found time and freedom in retirement? So without research, I just went for it and started this list today. What are ridiculously awesome things I wanna do in retirement? And what are awesome things in general that others might want to do? So today I present 101 ideas because of course, 101 is sort of my thing. I actually have two personal finance books that each contain 101 tips and strategies. And I even made a video recently that's very very similar with 101 finance tips in about 10 or 12 minutes if you want to check that one out after this. Anyways, the first 80 ideas on this list I came up with just in a flurry of inspiration, but the last 21 I found via research and they're even better than my ideas, so be sure to stick around until the end for all the tips. Let me know your favorites from the list. There are going to be numbers down in the corner if that helps you. And in the end, I'm gonna tell you exactly how you can snag a physical copy of this list. Well, starting as a digital download, but you can print it off if you'd like. It's even gonna come with built-in links for the resources that I'm going to mention. Like and subscribe and all that jazz, but let's just dive in. And obviously, I'm gonna go pretty fast. Travel, need I say more there? Watch the top 100 movies of all time according to IMDb. Learn a magic trick. Learn a bunch of magic tricks. Magic was actually my first real obsession, I'd say, as a kid. Cook your way through an entire cookbook. Do the same with a bake book, like desserts. You get it. <laughs> Start a blog about your interest, even if it's just a private blog, and then one day maybe sit down and share it with your kids or family. Support local business or start your own local business. Build a fort. Just because why not? <laughs> or more specifically, build a treehouse. Someday I hope to build this Zelda inspired fort thing that I saw on a YouTube video recently. I'll link to that in the description down below. Adopt a street with friends, volunteer and clean that street often. In general, volunteer. I actually just recently got my vaccine and I counted nearly 20 volunteers at that one site alone. Amazing. Start a local sports team for kids or become a referee or umpire in your community. Spend an entire week at Disney World or at least just go to Disneyland. <laughs> go to the local fair and eat all the damn scones you want. Read a book cover to cover in one sitting. Write a book. It has seriously never been easier to self-publish a book. I've actually self-published Two so far, like I said, via Kindle Direct Publishing. You can also self-publish via Ingram Spark. Watch the sunset as often as you can. Document it, especially while traveling. Teach your dog a new trick or tricks and train your companion to compete in a dog competition. Complete an entire coloring book. My fiance is actually working through this one, Color Quest, uh, which is no small feat. I'll link this one below. It's super pixelated and awesome. She really loves it. Buy and go through this entire science kit on screen. This was on the Amazon treasure truck last week and I have to say it was kind of tempting. <laughs> Write letters to friends and family and mail it to them. People love getting cards by the way and letters so do that via mail often. Bonus, write your partner love letters. Speaking of, Renew your vows with your partner or take a second honeymoon. <laughs> Reconnect with a childhood friend and or make new friends. Train and run a marathon, or at least a half marathon. <laughs> Brew your own home beer, master your recipe. Give it a ridiculous name. I'd like to make Frank's Red Hop someday. Get it? <laughs> master your sourdough bread recipe. Take an epic road trip and or learn how to camp roughing it style. For that road trip, by the way, just consider an RV. <laughs> Start a YouTube channel just for fun. YouTube is a lot of fun for me, but I bet I'd have even more fun if I wasn't trying to improve my metrics and reach more people. Binge the original viral podcast hit, Serial. I'd also suggest binging the first season of Startup. 
Drop me, by the way, a bingeable podcast if you know one. Paint a room in your house a totally brand new color, then move on to another room. If you're single, go on a blind date. Drive for Uber or Lyft, but just for the interesting conversations with strangers. Help your daughter win the Girl Scout cookie competition with her tribe, group, troop, troop. Learn how to box or take a self-defense class. Oh, paint your masterpiece, even if it's the uh, paint by color variety, like this one. Put this gently down, it's a masterpiece. <laughs> Create a positivity board. I recently shared on the channel that I created one and I like to pin positive comments from the channel there. Start a scrapbook or make physical photo albums. Organize family photos while you're at it. <laughs> Learn to scuba dive. Give your famous TED talk. Compete in the moth storytelling competition. And I do suggest you read this book before you start to do that. I'm currently reading it called Storyworthy. Link to this one in the description down below. I'm hooked. While you're at it, try your hand at stand-up comedy, at least an open mic. Learn how to woodwork or become a blacksmith. I actually just watched a few episodes of Forged in Fire on Netflix and it is fascinating stuff. Learn glass blowing or try your hand at just glass art in general or ceramics, of course. But I do think glass is just awesome and I recommend Blown Away on Netflix for inspiration. Reorganize your storage. Take everything you don't need to Goodwill. Learn ventriloquism just because. Not stupid. <laughs> Master your own barbecue or burger sauce. Bottle it if you can and sell it. Frank's red hot. That's already taken. Update your entire wardrobe, you know, affordably. Watch all Star Wars and Marvel movies in actual chronological order. Build a uh, cocktail bar. How do you cocktail? I don't know. <laughs> Work your way through a cocktail recipe book. Explore a national park or five. Buy a secondhand guitar on Craigslist and learn how to play your favorite song. Substitute any instrument, of course. Run a 5K a day for 30 straight days. Buy a boat. Nope. Buy a used boat. Nope. Restore a really run down old boat. Restore an old car, a classic, maybe your childhood favorite. Get your motorcycle license. Take an epic motorcycle trip with a friend, then read Zen and the Art of Motorcycle Maintenance or in reverse order. Watch my Vespa video, by the way, if you wanna know more about scooters instead. Study religions that aren't your own. Learn the rules of a new sport that you don't know much about. I've always wanted to learn, for example, about cricket and rugby. Oh, and Seattle's about to get an NHL team, so I need to learn more than the basics when it comes to hockey. Sell your own merchandise via a print-on-demand store. I did this for free through teespring.com. Build an exotic fish tank for your house. I mean, just buy a regular tank and buy exotic fish for it. You get what I mean. Learn a new language, travel to a country that speaks that language as a reward when you become fluent. Buy a drone and do epic drone stuff, whatever that means. Oh, drone racing. I saw that once on TV and whoa, that is super cool. Start your own home garden, especially with vegetables and herbs that you can enjoy. Read this book cover to cover that has 14,000 things to be happy about. Put a star next to your favorites. I'll link to that one down below. Buy an outdoor portable hammock. Try to take that everywhere and use it often. Create your own children's book. Listen to this podcast episode for a little bit of inspiration. Fun fact, by the way, 81% of people think that they have a book in them. So again, go for it. Or just support indie authors and buy and read both of my books, The Money Resolution and Money You Can Hack It. Both are also available on Amazon as paperbacks, hardcovers, ebooks, and audiobooks. Learn how to cut your own hair or your partner's hair, if they're willing. <laughs> Get on a podcast and share your story, or of course, start your own. Who cares if anyone's listening? Just have fun doing it. Learn five different ways to tie a tie and learn how to tie a bow tie. Start a vinyl record collection or a tie collection. Those can be loud too. You get it? That's bad. <laughs> get a Polaroid camera and take a photo challenge. 
You can download these via Etsy, and we're actually doing one now that's going in this scrapbook as we go. See, our vaccine day. Master all of the coffee making techniques. Learn how I cold brew, by the way, with one of my very first ever videos. It's very embarrassing, but I'll also link to my cold brew maker that I featured in that video that I'm still using three years later. Attend a live taping of Saturday Night Live. I have no idea how you score those seats, but you've got time, research. You'll make it happen. Join a men's league softball team or start your own with other retirees. Call it over the mound. You get it, the pitching mound's like a hill. Moving on. <laughs> Make your own epic Halloween costume each year. Or go all out for holiday house decorations. Speaking of holidays, host Thanksgiving for the family and do all the cooking. You could get your SOM certificate, become a sommelier. Spoiler though, it's very, very difficult. But I do recommend the movie SOM. Actually, I think there's three of them. Buy an exotic pet. I do recommend pet insurance, by the way, especially for those nationwide. That's a good one. Become a substitute teacher. It's actually a lot easier than you probably think to get in the classroom, but you can also just teach online from home. You can learn to rock climb IRL, not the gym version. You could read this book that apparently had the same idea as me that contains 101 more awesome things you can do in retirement. You can get inspired by The Queen's Gambit on Netflix and get really, really good at chess. Then go play strangers in the park. Become a mentor, a neighbor's mentor, a friend's kid, a godson, a family friend, anyone really. Get a part-time job or work as a consultant. I also like the idea, by the way, of becoming a tour guide uh, through Airbnb experiences, for example. You could start a mastermind group. You could travel the countryside, any countryside via train. Give photography a shot for real. Pet sit or become a foster parent for a pet in need before it finds its forever home. Pet Finder is a great resource for this. You can get really involved with local politics or volunteer for a campaign or best of all, run for office. You can deep dive your family tree. You can go back to school. This could actually even be online. This could even be taking my course, Save Money Resolution. You can get 25% off if you use code TIMEBACK. Find that at themoneyresolution.com. You can, of course, relocate seasonally. You know what this means. Somewhere nice and sunny with a pool and a hot tub. Just bring that hammock. You can remodel your house or buy a fixer upper and fix it up. Speaking of fixing it up, you could get in the best shape of your life. By the way, I've actually been supplementing my workout routine with Ring Fit Adventure on the weekends, and I'm seriously loving this. Uh, I'm gonna link this one down below. It is great for all ages, as long as you have a switch. You could become a financial guru. You know I had to sneak that one in here. You could babysit or house sit for friends. You can master your impersonation skills or jokes or dances, and put them on display, maybe on TikTok. I don't have a TikTok, but I'd get on just to watch you give that a shot. You can go to open houses nearby just for fun. We actually just recently toured a million dollar condo nearby just because a boy can dream. You could become a bird watcher, like Mike Tyson, I think, or amateur astronomer. You should go make sure you have a clean bill of health from your doctor. While not awesome in and of itself, it'll help you mentally know that you can do anything else on this list. And finally, you can make your own dream list of 101 things to do when you're retired or retired early. Just don't call it a bucket list. It sounds so just final. Retirement, it's just the beginning. And you know me, I always try to give bonuses and over deliver. So here's a super quick handful of more ideas. You could bungee jump, skydive or paraglide. You could try to be an extra in a movie. You can support local music and local artists. You can go completely green. You can do random acts of kindness, like liking this video down below. You could see a show or shows on Broadway. You could join a book club. You can subscribe to The Money Resolution on YouTube and binge watch every single video of mine. You can learn to sail. You can learn all about meditation and mindfulness. Or my personal favorite, travel the US and see a game at every MLB ballpark. By the way, 
If anything on this list spoke to you or stood out, here's a little secret. You can actually do that like now. Even if you're still working a nine to five or you have kids or you always feel busy, as long as you prioritize you. You don't have to wait until you're retired or have more time to fully live. You can make time for you now. So just always remember that. Again, I'd love to know your favorites down in the comments below or anything you'd like to add to this list, maybe something you're currently doing. And if you'd like a copy of this list to download with built-in links, and you can even print that list off, just go to themoneyresolution.com forward slash things to do to snag your copy. I'll pin a link to that in the comments to the top down below. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. My name is Frankie and I'll see you in a few days on the next one. I'm gonna go on my first vacation, by the way, in forever tomorrow, but I am prepared and I've worked ahead, so I'm gonna keep the videos coming. Oh, and you're not gonna wanna miss my next video. It's kind of a weird one like this. It's a finance wrap. Yep, you heard that right. The whole video is a wrap, so to speak, and now I can't back out of this idea because I've said it here publicly. So just promise not to laugh. Otherwise, have an awesome week or weekend ahead, and thanks for watching as always.